Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a Nurgle slash Death Guard uh, army phase that we've completed for one of our clients. It's been completed by Keith, one of the artists here at Siege. There are loads of great models in this force. You've got the Blight Drone, the uh, Plague Marines, obviously, the Plague Champion, and also the Notorious Poxbringers as well there on the left. Stick around, we're back in a second to have a look at these models in more depth. So to start off with, I thought we would have a look at the two kind of centerpiece models of this commission phase. Uh, you've got the Plague Champion on the left and also the Blight Drone on the right. Uh, both of which, incidentally, are absolutely dripping, excuse the pun, with detail. There's so much on them, it's unbelievable. Uh, really, really cool sculpt. So we'll start off looking at the Plague Champion. And uh, right from the get-go, you can see he's got loads and loads of different rivets and all different bits of armor that are on there. Plus, obviously, you've got the little Nurglings on there as well, which are really, really cool. The one at the front, obviously, with a helmet on as well, which is really funny. Um, but Keith's done a grand job just doing all the highlighting work and details on here, making them all pick out and making the overall colour palette really, really work. Uh, I like the blue on the blade as well, like the bluey to black sort of highlighting is, is really, really nice. And uh, all the bone work as well with multiple highlighting there, as you can see. I'll just get the, blow, the drone out of the way just so you've got a more nice kind of background to have a look at him in more detail. But again, really cool basing as well with some nice sort of shrubbery and flowers as well. Uh, again, the matching sort of colour scheme with the basing as well. Obviously, the blue sort of turquoisey tint of the flowers goes really nicely with some of the blue accents on the armour and on the sword and things, uh, which is really, really nice. So for me, around the back you can see all the rust and sort of areas of highlighting that are done on the sort of cloth here as you can see and a bit of texture added on there as well which is really nice so this is just the uh, plague champion there as you can see put him back and then we'll pull forward this absolute monstrosity which is the uh the, the blight drone and it has so much on it going on it's unbelievable like all the different areas of sort of lens work the teeth uh, all the pus and stuff that's uh, coming out the gun uh, nice bit of verdigris on some of the brass areas there as you can see as well which is really cool um, the lenses stand out really nicely with lots of depth and highlighting that will be done on them as well. We've got these really cool little flies at the top as well here as you can see. Just get that to focus at the top so you can have a look. Uh, and then moving around the back as we turn it around again you've got all this nice flesh work as well that's been done uh, on all the pipes and also on this big sub sack area as well which is really cool. Uh, Blight Drone again really cool new model that GW have made um, since sort of 8th came out which is really really cool and uh, quite good on the tabletop as well. So that is the Blight Drone and also the Plague Champion. I do hope you like those. Up next, we've got the two troop units for this small commission phase. Stick around, we're back in a sec to have a look at those in more detail. So next up, we've got the two troop units from this commission, and uh, you've got the Pox Walkers on the left, and also the Plague Marines on the right. Same colorway, we'll start with the Plague Marines first of all, just so you can have a look at these. And again, right from the get-go, you can see each of them, all with very individual detail, uh, which is takes, takes some time to obviously pick out all those relevant bits on per model as well, which is nice. Uh, but Keith's done a grand job on all of these, again, making them all very sort of unique, and also keeping within the very uh, sort of the color palette, so to speak. So really, really nice. Again, all the sort of flesh and tongues and things are all sort of got a really nice sheen to them as well to show they're sort of like got saliva or they've got a bit of uh, sort of moisture on them as well which is quite nice again all the rust work that's done on here this guy wielding this axe as well really really nice uh, again all the metal around the back and chains you can see nice and weathered with some rust and bits and bobs and stuff on there as well which is cool so that's just him with the axe uh, we'll pull each one of these forward just so you can have a look at them really quickly again you've got the champion from the unit there as well again with a plasma pistol nice orange sort of plasma pistol glow on there as well again you've got the same contrast and highlighting done on all that sort of cape as well give it a really really nice vibrant color to stand out with the bone and the green uh, again that's just the champion pull forward one of the bolter guys from the back so you can have a look at him Again, loads of detail on all these, making them all very individual. Um, so keeping it tight with the colour palette and uh, making that work across all the models whilst picking out all the individual details is, uh, is a nice sort of task to approach when painting these. Um, and then the other bolter guy from the back here, massive, massive stomach uh, sort of maw that you can see there with all the teeth and the tongue flapping out as well, as you can see there. Uh, again, loads of ooze and parcel dripping out of the uh, backpack there, there, as you can see. So that's just the other bolter guy. And then finally, the guy with the uh, sort of flail, uh, as you can see here, uh, nice rust to work again, carried across the force. Same attention to detail, consistency of highlighting and, and detail work throughout the force, um, but still a very individual model, which is nice. Uh, and then we'll move on to the pox walkers here on the right, which we'll pull forward a few of these just so you can have a look at these, get that to focus for you guys. So you can see all the, the sort of cysts and boils all fully picked out and highlighted through multiple colours to really make them sort of stand out and have a sheen on them as well, which is nice. Again, he's got some very vibrant orange trousers. <laughs> um, and the good thing about the pox walker models is, again, they've got a lot of individual detail on them, but when you've got them in a, a big blob, um, much like on one of the tabletop tactics videos that we've got on the channel, you can you can really make 
make them individual and stand out. All like we've done here, we've made a nice cohesive unit, so they are all, all within the same colour palette as you can see there, but they all have their individual little quirks uh, with boils and different bits of cloth and th such and so forth. Uh, so that's just another one that pops on. I won't pull all of them forward, I'll pull forward a, a few different versions just so you can see what these look like. But again, really, really cool. And uh, again, with the basing, that really nice consistent basing across the force with some lovely sort of turquoisey kind of flowering on there just to sort of add that colour color into the sort of palette. So again, really, really nice models. Uh, so that's the two infantry units from this force, guys. Do hope you have liked them. Stick around for the last section of this video coming up now. Uh, just got an overall shot of the force again. And uh, see you guys in the next section. So I hope you like the video guys and all the models in this cool commission. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Seeds, and it's really simple, all you need to do is head to our website, which can be found in the description of this video. Uh, go to the contact tab and complete a contact form by selecting all the relevant options for your commission from those, those drop down options. Drop us a little message and then fire that off and we can get the ball rolling on your quotes and your inquiry. Uh, in the description of this video, incidentally, there's also all the links to our social media. So if you don't mind taking two seconds to go and follow us on all of those, it would really help us out a lot. And uh, you get to keep up to date with all the things that are going on here at Siege. So thanks so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.